alligators. I'm fascinated with them, going so far as to ask friends if they had alligator drills in school the way I had earthquake drills. So as soon as they opened for the season, I had to pay a visit to the Natchitoches Alligator Park to learn more. And owner Terry Rogers says visitors are nothing new to them, like Michael Rothy from Stephenville, Texas. I was driving from Shreveport down to Baton Rouge yesterday, and I saw the sign. I thought, well, I'm going to check it out when I'm on my way back. And four-legged visitors like to pop in, too. We never have uh, escapees because this is like air alligator paradise, so... Well, we have our alligators that are outside of our fences trying to get in because this is where the party is. And I can see why they like it here. Well, here at the alligator park, we feed our alligators third graders. Phew, glad I'm not a third grader. Just kidding, they eat chicken and a ton of it. Now, as much fun as the shows are, that's not why Rogers opened the park. He just loves alligators, even the special ones. Every once in a while you'll have a deformity in the alligator. You'll have uh, no bottom jaw or no top jaw or no tail, uh, so they can't survive anywhere. So we have a special tank here where they can live out their life. Aww, and he tried to pass on his love of alligators to me, but I had some reservations. And he's not going to like do his business on me or anything? He shouldn't. He shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> hand under the throat, hand on the back of the tail. Okay. Yep, it worked. In fact, <laughs> As a single girl, I'm always on the hunt for my perfect mate, and I think I found him. Do you like him? I do. But he wasn't the only love I found at the Natchitoches Alligator Park. Meet Bonnie, a two-day-old pygmy goat. Who would have thought goats could be so cute? Or that an alligator park would be home to so many different animals? And that's just another reason I love the architects.